Okay, here's just a little interesting situation. Okay, I have this uh, commission of this little girl and her dog, and that's all cool. Uh, and I could paint that background, but, you know, it's not really going to make me happy to paint that background. So, uh, I want to see what these would look like in there. And if I want to get just really detailed about it, I could do it that way. See, I have traced the shape of the dog and the girl right here. Okay, and then I actually traced this side too of her right there. Okay, so I'm going to guess, looking at this, I want these flowers, I think about that height on here. So let's just try that, oh, about here, maybe. Now, I'm not going to use these flowers exactly like they are, but they're, they're a good example of about what I want, maybe even the color I want. So I, I can look at these and make some flowers up from this. Um, and... Here's my faithful graphite paper. And, oops, pencil. So see, all I'm gonna do is go over this and trace the shape. You don't have to be just super careful about it. There might be situations where you would wanna be very exacting with this just because there's something ticklish about it or you, you just want to be real sure. But I think close is good enough. I mean, a lot of the time you could just lay the picture in there. So there's that one. Oops, I traced it down way too far. It's down here in the middle of my other flowers. Oh well. And so I also need trace this one off on this copy of the same flowers. So we'll guess about there. You know what? I don't even need to tape that down. There's not much of it that really falls. It's just, just around her pretty hair, which I think they must have put on rollers before she was photographed. Okay, so I'm going to cut these out, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now you can see, here's where I've got the flowers in there. Of course, I guess if I'm going to do blue, I'd do blue all the way up and graduate into some kind of grass thing down here. And then, so I'm looking at it, and still I don't quite know. By the way, I didn't do a perfect job there. Uh, you know... I might not want a flower coming right off the end of that dog's ear. Let's see, right there. And let's take another piece of paper here. And I might not want that flower. Here's what I'm thinking. Well, just a minute, and I'll show you what I'm thinking. So this gives me a chance to try it on. See, let's see, right there. Okay. But I need this to be a little uneven. Here I've torn one out with a little green on it that I could put something a little higher here. In fact, well, I can't write it off the top of the page because the top of the page is up here with her head. But something like that or maybe even... a little bit of a rose down here. Maybe, maybe like, oops, that. The reason I'm doing roses is because her middle name is Rose. So it just worked out. That was a coincidence. I, I told the grandmother roses or iris, rose bush or irises or some kind of flower it needed something and 
And she said, well, her middle name is Rose. And then when I do the baby sister, her name is Iris. So we know how I feel about Iris. Says, yeah, see, that's way better. Have a little bit down here, a little bit up there, you know. And then we're connecting with the edge. So we've actually got a cruciform uh, uh, composition here. And that connects us with the edges in a much better way than that brown fence. So I'm happy with that. So that's just a little, again, a little idea. For those of you, if you've got a, a color, color copier or it's handy to go make color copies somewhere, uh, this is just a really uh, easy way. So what I'll do is I'll photograph this. Uh, or maybe I'll get some scotch tape and glue those down. Or I'll glue them. Yeah, that's it, glue. Okay, see you later with something else. So then I was looking just as a last minute thought, I was thinking about maybe one thing a rose is sticking way up like that. And this gives me a little bit more blue to look at. I think probably not. I think this is better. So I'll cover that up right there. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm good with this. I like this down here. And now I'll just bring the rose bush kind of down like that. I have to get the picture of a bottom of a rose bush. But down here, and and I'm not going to detail the grass much at all. Maybe just a little few sprigs right here. So, okay. I'm back. I'll go ahead and mention one, one other thing. The only real pinks that I have it in, we're going to have in this picture, were basic, was basically her face and maybe her foot, but that's hardly even there. But the pink's in her lips and here, and this gets me some other movement of that same color throughout the picture by having these kind of peachy pinks in here. That's all, bye. Okay, here's just a quick little demonstration about showing that something is glass and, um, and what I am doing here is I'm not doing like a realistically beautiful crafted thing. I just want something that when you look at it, your brain says, you know, it's glass. Uh, uh, other than that, I'm more interested in the design and the shapes, the way things move than I am about the, um, about whether it's believable or not. This is not believable. These are not believable leaves, but I like them. So, uh, just to do a little bit more of the leaves, by the way, you'll notice I splashed here. So, so far I have a background. I have a, uh, a white here with um, some leaves. I'll do one more leaf here. Because I want to vary the color in the leaf just a little bit. And uh, I want to make this, this leaf coming behind that one. And one way to do it Let's make it a little bit darker, maybe a little bit cooler. Uh, cool might make it recede, but that's, don't take that as a um, as an always true thing there. Let's see. I think that's going to have to get a little bit darker, but one of the things I've been doing with these leaves, okay, is laying them partially dry and then dropping water into them. So I've got a place here on this one. I think I'll go ahead and add a little bit more of some other color there. Some of that will probably back around and make some interesting things happen. But it'll still feel like a solid leaf as long as all the edges are soft and the value range is not too big. So now, here I've got, this is almost dry, so I'm going to pretend it's dry. I spattered, you know, I always spatter. So, uh... I've got some of my background color, which, by the way, this is a Quinn Burnt Scarlet that I happen to love. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it paler than this. We're looking through a glass. There's light refracting around. And because this is a curved glass object there, this edge is going to be soft. So here's the background coming through. This curve, this curve out here is reflecting different light than the background. 
uh, it could be darker or lighter. Generally, we'll get a little bit darker edge here. Sometimes the glass itself has a little bit of a tint in it, and that might show. Um, gee, I don't know how I'm going to make this work. Uh, put some color in here. Maybe not everywhere. You know, leave a few pops of light color there. And I've got a really rough edge over here, and I might just... Nah, didn't get it. I was going to do a little dry brush there. I've got a little dry brush up in here that I really like. So, you can see how this is beginning to have that background come through. Right in here towards the middle, where the light is less refracted in different directions, that's where you're probably going to get more of the background coming through. And we could just play with it to whatever. Let's say that you already got this real dark. Maybe it's too dark. Just lift. Go ahead and lift. Break up these stems. And then, and then when it's dry, put the stems back in. And maybe make them kind of... Uh, kind of iffy. You can't quite tell what's going on with them. That's better because when you're looking through curved glass or, you know, glass with other shapes in it, that's what you get. So, I think I'm going to make, see what this does. It would be best if I was looking at a real piece of glass. But, this is just sort of shorthand for something that I think will, will work. Yeah, I think it kind of does. I didn't do anything with the bottom. And the bottom should really be on a different surface with a different color. I didn't do that. Um, let's see. What can we make up here? It's kind of late because I've got that down here. but Okay, so let's just say that, that this face was sitting on something blue. And so there might be a little bit of blue coming in through here and I bet there's bits of blue in other places too especially because it actually the background would probably be the, the bottom the tabletop or whatever this is sitting on will probably wouldn't stop down here it would stop up here somewhere so you might have some bits of a, another color in it and uh, that would be yeah, that would be pretty attractive. A few backgrounds, you know, little stuff going on there. Yeah, why not? You know. Um, could get some of this, these green mixtures a little stronger if I wanted. Maybe let them blend in a little bit. There. Okay, that's that's my idea of... It, it would be better if these edges were softer in here. Let's see if we can lift that a little bit. Just adding a little bit of water where it's damp. And I'm squeezing my brush out. I'm going to pull this way. See, it did a little, a little something there. And of course... You could always, you really want to make this like glass, you could always, probably after it's dry, don't do this while it's wet like what I'm doing, but you could come in and scrub a little spot, make a highlight on it. I think the highlight should probably follow the shape of the glass a little bit. So I didn't really do that very well, but that's another thing. Yeah, that's not particularly well positioned or shaped. It's better if you have something real to look at, and I'm really not. I just decided to do this. But let's see if we can get a little highlight right in there. You know, some things like that. So this would be best if it had a really crisp-edged highlight on it. So what I should have done is gotten it dry and then masked off an area and lifted or just taken some... Uh, white paint and paint a little uh, highlight on it. So this is to go with the other little video and I'll just call them uh, 
a couple of things, I guess. Okay. Bye.